So have you heard about Big Brother taking over your thermostat in the summer and maybe the winter? Well, it's starting now in Ontario. Ontario is rolling out an energy conservation program that will pay residents with smart thermostats to lower their air conditioning during certain periods in the summer. So when it gets really, really hot and you just crank in your AC a little bit to get nice and cool, if there's too many of you doing it, Big Brother's gonna step in and turn them all down. Residential customers who sign up for the Peak Perks program, Peak Perks, will receive a $75 prepaid credit card in exchange for giving their smart thermostat manufacturer secure access to the device. And what he doesn't say in the article is that you'll also get $20 a year after that to, to let them hold on to the password and the, and the access to your uh, thermostat to be able to turn it down or turn it, well, they're never gonna turn it up, but turn it down. The government says the adjustment would typically last for no more than three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be on weekends or holidays and participants can opt out of any temperature change. For now, I can see this everywhere coming in. Big Brother's just wanting to control everything. The Progressive Conservatives cancelled a number of energy conservation programmes early in their first term in government, and critics have said their new $342 million suit of programmes doesn't replace what existed previously. So this has been brought in by Doug Ford. Energy Minister Todd Smith says Ontario's electricity grid was in a different situation back then with a surplus of power that was sometimes being sold at a loss to neighbouring jurisdictions. The energy efficiency programmes weren't as important then as they certainly are now, Smith said at a conference on Thursday. The peak perks programme we are announcing is a far more easier programme to take part in. Yeah, you just hand over control to your thermostat, to the government, whether it be Conservative government, liberal, well, so at the moment, Ontario Conservative government are putting this in. But what happens when it becomes a liberal government? What happens if, if Doug Ford doesn't win the next election and a liberal wins it? <laughs> and the gate, the floodgates will open. Wow. Chuck Farmer, the independent electricity systems operator's vice president of planning conservation and resource adequacy said a similar previous conservation program was effective but not necessarily cost effective because of grid conditions. Mm. He noted that demand for electricity is increasing while nuclear resources are becoming are coming offline for retirement or refurbishment and there are now 600,000 smart thermostats installed all over Ontario. We have a lot more eligible customers to <laughs> to force to turn down their thermostats. The technology is much better, so it so it will be much more effective. <laughs> yeah, we can get them right down now. He said, "I think now is the right time to bring back the involvement of residential customers." So, what do you think? Are you going to let Big Brother control your thermostat? Are you going to let them turn down or turn? turn down your your uh, well turn up your ac or turn down your your heat in the in the winter what do you think like the liberals they want to they want to put they want to bring everything electric for heat uh for cooling and everything now imagine that with a thermostat coupled in with a thermostat you're gonna have no control over nothing soon nothing crazy what do you think? Drop us a comment. Till next time.